This is how to rotate inline skate wheels with minimal effort to get maximum distance from your wheels. The first step in rotating inline skate wheels is knowing when it's time to rotate your wheels. I suggest logging your distance. It's free. Use an app like Strava. All you need is a phone or a GPS watch and it will log your distance and then you know how far you've gone. The more often and the more frequent you rotate them, the more distance you'll be able to get out of them. On this pair of K2 VO2s, this is the stock set of wheels. It's been 240 kilometers since my last rotation and there is a total of 1,460 kilometers on these wheels. And you'll see just by eyeballing it, the right wheel is starting to show a little bit of wear. The only tools required to rotate your inline skate wheels, two four millimeter hex keys. The first thing I do with all my rotations is take all the wheels off. Before we get any further, important to mention that always spin the bearings the same way. By always spinning your bearings the same way, I found not only do I not have to clean them, but I get twice as much distance out of the bearings without having to clean them than I used to. So when I rotate, I keep the bearings spinning the same way. All right, so we've got all our wheels off. So now I take my left skate and I've got my right wheels. So this right wheel showing the most wear is going to get flipped so that the bearing is rolling the same way. And now I'm gonna install it graphic side out in this position because that is going to give it the least amount of wear now. I'm going to take this wheel that was on the right skate previously and install it on the left skate because this position the wheels get the least amount of wear and you can see right there it's got the most life that's going to go on the front. We're going to take the back wheel which is worn almost perfectly evenly and install it here and we're going to take this wheel and install it on the back. Just by eyeballing you can see that the medius part of all these wheels is now on the inside. We're going to wear down the inside to match more of the outside and we're done the left skate, right skate. We're gonna take the wheel from the front, flip it, and it's gonna go in this position here. This wheel, flip it, front position. This wheel, flip it back. This wheel, flip it, this position. And before tightening them, again, give it an eyeball. We're going for the medius part of all the wheels here. The one with the most life left is gonna be our front wheel. You can see the medius one is on the front and down the line. I rotate my wheels so often, every 100 to 200 kilometers, that any imperfections really get negated by how frequently these wheels get rotated. After I reinstall my wheels, I always like to give them a good spin, make sure everything's spinning freely, make sure they're not over tightened. Another way you can check, give them a spin and put them down. You'll see here, this wheel here just keeps spinning. So that tells us it's in a pretty good position. You want any wheels that are worn like that to be in the middle and definitely not on the outside. So that one there is in a good spot. And on the left skate, they all stop immediately. Rotating using this method, 1,460 kilometers out of a set of 83A wheels is boggling my mind. I've never gotten this much wear out of a wheel before, and I anticipate another 1,000 to 1,500 kilometers easy out of this set of wheels, which is unbelievable. And the bearings spin like they did when they were brand new. Props to K2 for equipping the VO2 S100 with awesome wheels and bearings. So the main takeaways, rotate as often as possible, following the one rule of always having your bearings spinning in the same direction. Other than that, the results don't lie. We're gonna see probably 2,500 kilometers out of this one set of wheels and bearings. Super happy. So we have a second set of skates up for rotation. These are the Macroblade 100 3WD. On the Macroblade 100 3WD, it's been 125 kilometers since the last rotation, and there's a total of 275 kilometers on these wheels. Now you'll see they are wearing significantly faster than the K2 VO2s, which is strange because the Supreme wheels get fantastic reviews online and they are an 85A hardness. So I'm not sure why they're wearing so quickly. They're being skated on the same surface as the VO2s. I'm thinking it's because with one less wheel to take the friction, the other three wheels just get battered like these. But we'll rotate them in the exact same way that we did the K2s. So we've got the wheels off. I'll be honest, this is my first pair of three-wheeled skates. I've never experienced wheel wear like this, especially with an 85A wheel. So there will be significant amount of eyeballing in this operation. We're gonna take the right skate, we're going to take the left wheels and it's going to be graphic side out because they were graphic side in because we want our bearings to always spin the same way because cleaning them is a massive pain in the ass. We'll take the front wheel, install it in the middle. We'll take the back wheel, install it in the front. And we will take the middle wheel and install it in the rear. Before we get anything tightened up, let's have a look. Looks good to me. 
Now for the left skate. Based on what I'm seeing, I want to put the front wheel in the middle, the middle wheel in the front. Now it looks like this wheel went from rear to rear based on taking it from there and putting it here, but I can see that it is not really going to matter as long as these wheels get rotated in the next 200 kilometers anyway, which they are going to need to be because it looks like these wheels are wearing incredibly quickly and need to be rotated a lot more frequently than the four wheel skates. So we'll probably rotate them again in maybe 75 or 100 kilometers. Everything's spinning freely, looking good. Medius part of the wheel to the inside. Give a quick check. Looks good. Looks good. So there you have it. How to rotate the wheels on four wheeled inline skates and three wheeled inline skates. Key takeaways, always roll your bearings in the same direction. Eyeball it and rotate as frequently as possible to maximize the life out of your inline skate wheels. Let me know in the comments below. Am I doing it wrong? Are my wheels going to explode and my skates start on fire? Please let me know your thoughts. That is how I rotate my inline skate wheels for maximum wheel life so that I don't have to clean my bearings. It's a little more work to rotate so frequently, but well worth it considering you will the life of your wheels when rotated this frequently. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Oh God.